Hello everyone. In our next video, we're basically we're going to be going over a backup copy job. In our first one, we showed you a backup job that was local, and now we're going to be showing you a backup copy job, which involves offsetting the data over to Assurance IT to make sure that your data is protected at all times. So the first thing you want to start off with is opening up your Veeam backup and replication console. And here we see our local backup job that was saved in our last video. So we head to the home tab. We're going to click the data on backup copy and we're going to click on virtual machine and we're going to choose the VM in order that we're going to do a backup copy job for. Here we're going to give it any name. You can name it any name that you want to. This could always be changed later as well, so it's not permanent. So here we're just going to name it October and because this involves one of our VMs specifically named October. As previously mentioned, this process involves bringing over data off-site, unlike it was done locally before with a backup job. So now we're going to add our VMs, and basically we see our backup job done. So without our backup job done first, we will not be able to do the backup copy job. Here we're going to choose the amount of restore points, which is our RPO how much we want to keep, so how far we could go back, the more we put, the more further we could go back. And we could schedule it to specific times that come, that meets our business needs as well. And the advanced menu, we do have other options as well. Main that's that what we want to do, storage, here we could add an encryption key, our RPO monitor, notifications, and other scripts. We're just going to leave everything on default as is for now. And we have to select a target repository that's not local in order to do a backup copy job. So that's why we initially got the error. So click the down arrow. Here we're going to choose our AIT cloud repository. It's going to queue how much terabytes we have left. And hitting next will work now since we chose the proper repository. There's many different options. You could do two for one to direct or built in one accelerators. Now we have no built in one accelerator because that does require the VS edition. We could schedule it at times that we need. We could disable it on certain times as well too. If you want to disable it during the day, we could do that as well. Since during business hours, we wouldn't need as much bandwidth as possible. I'm going to hit next, and we can even hit the check mark to enable it as soon as it's done. But for now, as this is an example, we're not going to do that. And we're just going to click on finish. And on the next cycle, it's going to run automatically depending on the scheduling that you chose. So here we're going to enable it. And if we do hit the right click on the backup copy job, we could do a sync now or we could do an active full as soon as the job is created. As a first time run, I recommend doing an active full and doing a sync now later for other times. Thanks for tuning in.